before you start this job, I just want to make you aware that whenever you replace any of these components after you're done the job, you're going to want to go to a shop and have your alignment done so you don't end up with premature tire wear. We're going to replace this front inboard lower ball joint and you don't have to take the wheel off if you can access it. I'm going to take a 7 8 wrench or a 22 millimeter wrench, loosen up the nut right here. So I want to release the ball joint stud from the lower control arm. So I'm just going to take a punch and a hammer and just uh, hit it a couple times. I'm going to do that before I take the nut off. And it, it loosened from that. It's not going to come out completely, but just got it a little bit loose, which is good. Take this nut off all the way. I can use an 18 millimeter wrench. Take these bolts out. And you're gonna get that bolt to a certain extent and you won't be able to pull it all the way out. Just grab a pry bar, just pry this out. So this is loose. I am going to use the larger pry bar, just pry out on the control arm. So you want to make sure this tires off the ground if you're doing this on the ground. Slide that bolt out. And pull the ball joint right off. Take the new ball joint, slide it in position. We're going to put, want to put this bolt back through there before we slide that in. Use the pry bar. And just try to get that bolt to line up. Get that back bolt started first. Before I tighten that all the way down, get the other one started as well. Now you can torque these bolts to 57 foot-pounds. This inboard one will be a little bit harder to get to. You can use a crow's foot, get on there like that. Torque that one the same, 57. Now get the nut started. And use a 7 8 wrench or a 22, 22 millimeter and tighten this up. And if while you're tightening this, the stud starts to spin, you can use a 5 millimeter hex bit and hold the stud while you tighten this up. And if you have the ability to torque this, if you have a crow's foot that's a 7 8 or 22, torque that to 60 foot pounds.